What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be showcasing the complete in-depth guide for how to get the Rat King Exotic Kinetic Sidearm in Destiny 2. And so, let's get started. The Rat King Sidearm is legitimately one of the craziest exotics I have ever seen. Its exotic ability is that this weapon actually gets more powerful depending on how many members of your fire team also have this weapon stacks all the way up to six times if you want to run it in a raid. Which of course is going to be really interesting to see how powerful this thing gets in you know strikes, in PvP, and of course in the raid. Now interestingly, upon testing this weapon, it was found out that it isn't just a blanket clause, but rather you actually have to be within a certain distance of other Rat King users. You can actually see in the background gameplay, the Rat King will glow when my teammate who also has it equipped is nearby and then stop glowing when he is out of the radius where the effect is taking place. So just keep that in mind. But the question remains, how do you get the Rat King Exotic Sidearm. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is complete the main campaign in Destiny 2. Once you have done all of the main story missions, you will then unlock world quests for each of the different locations. To get the Rat King specifically, you have to go to Titan. So again, once you complete the campaign, simply open your destinations and then go to Titan. There's going to be a special blue quest that wasn't there before that has now shown up. And the quest line is called Enemy of My Enemy. Now, very importantly, it is indeed a quest line. You're going to have to do several of these blue world quests in order to actually acquire the Rat King exotic. So, once you've completed all of the different quests within this quest line, you're going to get to a very end quest. Essentially, you're chasing a fallen captain. Now, at the very end, you actually have a scenario where there's the Fallen Captain and a Hive Captain, and you kill the Hive Captain, and you have the opportunity to kill or save the actual Fallen Captain. Now, I chose to save the Fallen Captain. I'm not entirely sure this is actually required to get the Rat King. It's probably just the completion of the quest, but if you want to be safe, let the Fallen Captain live at the very end. In any event, once it is complete, you're going to get a unique item called Rat King's Crew. This is going to start you off on your quest to get this exotic weapon. Now this item is going to take up a slot in your kinetic weapons and when you go over it, you can see it's a riddle. The Rat King's Crew runs to and fro. Good girls and boys, nowhere to go. Pick up your toys and darn with your socks on errands of woe, on errands we walk, old children's rhyme. So we're not gonna go through and read and, and decode what each line means, rather I'm just going to tell you what each step actually entails you doing. For example, this first step is just to do three different patrol missions. Now that's a little bit important. Patrol missions actually are not available normally within the game. You have to complete the story campaign and then you have to specifically do the patrol mission given out by Kate. This is also a blue mission, as you can see here, called Patrols, and it's available on the European Dead Zone. Again, you have to complete this quest to have access to the normal patrol missions, they're just the beacons, stuff like kill a certain amount of enemies or kill dregs to get a certain item and so on. You have to do three of those as a fire team in order to complete this part of the Rat King step. Now that very last point, as a fire team, is extremely important. To do any of these steps, you have to be in a fire team of presumably people who also have the Rat King's crew. So make sure that when you are going out to do this quest, have some people along that are willing to do it with you. And although that can certainly be very annoying if you can't find a team to actually go and get this exotic, it certainly fits thematically for what the Rat King is all about, getting more powerful when you have a fire team. In any event, we move on to the second stage of the Rat King's quest. This stage is going to require you and your fire team 
to complete two public events anywhere. Now, once you've completed your second public event, you're going to see the Rat King icon appear again. It's going to have a new riddle and a new objective. That new objective this time is going to be to complete two Crucible matches or potentially win two Crucible matches. My team won both our matches, so I'm pretty sure it's just complete, but if you lose and don't gain progress, that's why you're gonna have to get a win, simple as that. But it is two Crucible matches, quick play works perfectly. All right, so you've completed the world quest on Titan. You've done three patrol missions with your fire team, as well as two public events and two Crucible matches, what comes next? Well, the next step is by far the hardest part. It's really going to limit a lot of players from being able to go and get this exotic, but if you can accomplish this, you'll be one of the frankly lucky few. So the last step to acquiring the Rat King is to do the Nightfall, but unfortunately not just the Nightfall. You see, in Destiny 2, the Nightfalls have been updated with a new timing mechanic. Right now, if you try to do the Nightfall, you're going to load in and find out you have 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes. Every time you kill enemies, however, they're going to add time to the clock. So killing a basic enemy is going to add 2 seconds. Killing a harder enemy is going to add 7 seconds. It's also going to account for assists. So you want your entire team to be shooting at a certain enemy, and then that enemy dies and gives time to all of your teammates, aka you get a bigger chunk of time. Now, I mention that because it is very important. Again, not only do you have to complete the Nightfall, but you have to beat the Nightfall with five minutes on the clock. So the second you bring down that Nightfall boss, there needs to be five minutes or more remaining or else you will not complete this last step for the Rat King. And quite frankly, guys, this is going to require a lot of planning and foresight. Most people are not going to be able to run in and do a Nightfall with those five minutes remaining. For example, this week, there's a modifier where the burn changes every around 30 seconds. So it's 30 seconds of arc burn, then it's 30 seconds of solar, then it's 30 seconds of void. So if you're trying to tackle this week's Nightfall, you need to have all elements covered. It's a great idea to have your favorite subclass represent a certain element, and then your power weapon be a different element, and your energy weapon be an even different element than that. So no matter which burn it is, you have something to deal significant damage. Also, a powerful kinetic weapon that can get away with just damaging enemies regardless is also quite good. You're also going to have to be in the habit of potentially skipping enemies. If there's a bunch of enemies and the way is clear, you don't need to kill these enemies. Don't go out of your way to kill them. Just run past them. It's all about the timing. And another huge tip for you guys is don't bite off more than you can chew too early. Don't be rushing to do the nightfall, let alone try to complete the nightfall with five minutes remaining. Not only will it be very challenging, but it also may hurt you in the long run. Pretty much all of the different vendors in Destiny, they stop at 265. That is as high as the engrams will go. However, nightfall loot will go even higher than that. So if you do get up to 265 and then take on the Nightfall, that is the way to maximize your light level increase. Not only that, but the Rat King itself drops at a pretty substantial light level because after that last step of doing the Nightfall with five minutes remaining, there's nothing else. You outright get the Rat King the second you complete this last step as you can see here. And although I was around 270, my Rat King dropped at 286, which is a pretty substantial light level difference. And so guys, that is it for how to get the Rat King Exotic Kinetic Sidearm. I wish you luck. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, found it informative, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. It immensely helps me out. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. 
Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.